Live from Shadowmere Studios, it's the Talkie Box Podcast. A little dab will do ya. Hmm. Oh, yeah, it right? sure will. Yeah. yeah, it will. Or a great big heaping glob. I was about to say. Yeah, I like a lot yeah. of sour cream, actually. Go all yeah. in. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I mean, they say a dollop sometimes, but I feel like a dollop is just, you're shortchanging yourself. Yeah. I don't know, like, dollop to ounce uh, yeah. ratio there, but... Hashtag, hashtag what's a dollop. Yeah, write that down. I'm writing it down. Yeah. So the cameras are on this time, I'm assured. They are uh, on If you've seen this last time. week's episode, the cameras were not on because Dave screwed up. I'm Dave. Technical oh, difficulty Dave. Dave. Yeah. That's what we like to call him. And that's Jason. Just driving Jason. Joe. Nope, we're not doing nope. that. <laughs> and Justin. Yeah. Yeah, that's, uh, that, yep, that's me. And then we got Kate again. I'm Kate. Kate I, is, bu- uh, I believe Kate is now the most recurring. I think she might have taken it for most recurring at this point. No, how many have you done? Three? Three. This is your third? Three? Yeah. I feel like you've done more than three. I thought Mm-mm. it tech feels more than three. I was preparing my pageant way. I thought Tech most was the reigning champion. Uh, not four. He I might feel be. like it's been four. Has it been four? Has I feel it been like it's been four. four. I, don't, I thought it was three. I feel like it's three, but now he's saying four. And I, I feel like it's she, four. She skipped a week. Ah. Oh. Yeah. There was I had a, a week. Date. She had a, a date and I was unable to attend. Yeah. Mm. It was not worth. It was not worth skipping. But em- Emily was on four or five. Mm-hmm. Um, Tech was on several. Joey was on a few. Mickey was on a few. Yeah. So yeah. I want to say that if nothing else, they're all tied up at this point. I think mm. it's uh, Tech, and then I think Mickey, uh, then uh, Joey. Mm. Jeremy. I feel like Joe, Joey only did three, I think. So what's the yeah. number I have to beat here? At le- I would say five or more. I five think five. Or more. Yeah, I can go back and look, but yeah, I feel like she's done more than three. I, I could be wrong. We had we had what three Probably with not. Emily? I think is this three? I, I want to say it was four? more than three with Emily. I feel like this is it, this would be four. I feel uh, okay. we had at least two videos with Emily, and I know we had at least one. This is three. Um, this is three. This is before three. we did videos with Emily. I want to say two though. Third mm. time. Well, this is probably real boring for our audience. Yeah. Yeah. Let's talk this about something great that's scenery. happened in the cool. in the week so far. Oh, oh man! All the great things. <laughs> There's so many guys. Yeah. Did you actually have something in mind, or? No, no. I was okay. just changing the subject uh, off randomly. Off of the stupid conversation. Off of the stupid yeah. conversation. All right. Well, uh, I, I, I got some uh, a fresh hot Netflix update. Yeah. Oh. Uh, we talked uh, several months ago now about a show called Travelers. Do yeah. You remember yeah. this show? Second season is coming out on cool. December the twenty sixth. Oh, that's so. where the the. People from the future come back in come time back to change save the world the future. for the future. Yeah. Save the children, right? And they all have like <laughs> they all have like RPG class associations. Like there's the the historian and the mm. doctor and the yeah, it's, yeah. It's like the A team or yeah. whatever. Or they someplace. all have their role to play. Yeah. So uh, I'm excited for Bright to come out. Yeah, Bright looks like it's gonna be pretty cool. The yeah. Will Smith Joel Edgerton. He's wearing a lot of makeup. Wait, who's Joel Edgerton? The guy who's he's, wearing a no, like, he's the What else have I seen him in? <laughs> or whatever. Oh, man. What else has Joel Edgerton been in? Um, lots of stuff. Cool. Yeah. <laughs> well, now that it's all yeah. been cleared up. Look it up for yourself, I guess. Yeah. Well, here, fine. <laughs> no, no, it's fine. No, Dave, fine. Dave, yeah, listen. We talked about Bright, right? Don't it's, you worry it's, about it. Pr- I'm pretty sure it's just It's like a, a discrimination. fantasy meet. It's like an urban fantasy, but it's actual fantasy meets, like... Today, sort of thing, and racism. Yeah, it feels like a Earth racism. parallel racism kind of thing. Yeah, like instead of going with one of the established races that have been oppressed throughout <laughs> all of humankind, all of actual history. Yeah, let's create a race <laughs> and oppress them. Yeah. He was in Black Mass with Johnny Depp, Exodus, metaphor. Gods and Kings, The Great Gatsby, Zero Dark Thirty, The Odd Life of Timothy Green. You name so many movies. Warrior. Before. The Thing, Legends of the Guardians, The wait. Owls of Gafool. Oh, the Thing, that's where I know him from. Got it. The Thing, he plays Carter. Yep. He's he was also in fella. $9.99. All right. Mm-hmm. And Many Smoking Aces, he was also in. Okay. He was He was in that movie as well. He was in uh, Revenge of the Sith. Star Wars Episode Three: Revenge of the Sith. He played Owen Lars. Yeah, he, he did. I remember that. He did. He adopted Luke. He adopted Luke. Yeah. There you go. What a sweetheart. I that. Uncle Owen. 
Light it's bulb. Uncle Owen. Yeah. Okay. So, yeah. Oh. So He's in that movie Bright. <laughs> yeah. With that other guy, Will Smith. Oh, yeah. Who's yeah. that guy again? Um, <laughs> the Fresh Prince. I feel like mm. there once was... No, oh, we don't happen? have the rights to that. No. <laughs> <laughs> so, do you know how do you, uh, how you track Will Smith in a snowstorm? No, I don't. How do you track Will Smith? How in a do you snowstorm? track Will Smith in a snowstorm? You look for the Fresh Prince. Ha ha ha! I thought that was cute. Oh, uh, <laughs> right. Yeah, feel free to use that back there at your home. I don't know why you're looking at the camera. I'm cutting that apart. No, you're gonna <laughs> use it. Adorable. Yeah. Hashtag oh. Fresh Prince. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's so terrible. I have to hashtag. Yeah, yeah. That's a good uh, dad joke or boss joke. Yeah, uh, winter know? fun. Am I right, folks? Yeah. <laughs> All right. Well, I'll shut up. He said winter fun. <laughs> that's my cue to shut up. Just as dumb as it gets. Oh. I actually think, and this is a weird one, but I think I'm gonna have my kids call me dad because yeah. I just love dad jokes. I love to give them. Right. And I think it's going to throw people off a lot. Like, you know, my kids are going to be sitting there like, oh, you have a mom and a dad. Oh, I have two dads. And they're going to be looking around because, you know, yeah. transgenders and gay couples. Mm -hmm. And they're going to be like, so are you post-pre-operation? Like, no, I don't identify as a man. I just identify as a dad from like I'm a just, young just, age. Uh, I just dad. knew. That's awesome. Yeah, deep so, down that. That so I was when you a dad. Have, when you have grandkids, they're going to call you Grandpa Kate. <laughs> yeah. Grandpappy Kate. <laughs> Grandpappy I Kate. I love that. I'm writing that down. That's fantastic. Grandpappy Kate it is. Yeah. So yeah, all my other coworkers at my job, they call me Daddy now. It's, it's cute. Is Ooh. that where that came from? That's where Daddy okay. came from. Yeah, you were telling me that earlier today. And you're like, it's a long story. It wasn't that long of a story, it turns yeah. out. Mm -hmm. yeah. You just identify as a, as a dad. As a, a dad, a not a man. figure. Just a dad. Yeah. Let's be clear. Are you going to show him how to shave? I just really wanted to teach someone how to play baseball. <laughs> okay. Mm. Yeah. All right. All right. <laughs> okay. Okay. Um, I went to the dentist today. Oh, Dave. How did that go? Not bad. Like, I'm actually really excited about this new dentist. Was it cleaning? Uh, well, it, was a, it was like a first appointment thing. So, like, there's x-rays. Well, and, let's see how, how your like, face looks. No, I don't want to. Smile. No, here's the thing. Camera, like, Dave. I've... As a, when I was younger, I was very bad at taking care of my teeth, and now I'm paying for it, literally and figuratively. Yes. And and but I'm like, I'm to the point where like, you know what? I did this to myself. I'm gonna, I gotta power through this shit. And so I went today, and like, you know, they, they do the X-rays, and the dentist comes in. He's like, you know, you got a lot of problems with your mouth, right? And I'm like, yes, I'm aware. He's like, okay, because you got this and this and this. I'm like, all yeah, right. I didn't know about all of them, but yes, okay. And he's like, all right, we're gonna go in. We're gonna clean the tartar off your teeth. I'm like. Okay, and so he gets in there, and he's just like fucking oh. digging in there, and I, like I have like tears coming out of my eyes, oh. and he's like, "I'm sorry." He's like, "I was like, nope, I did this to myself." He's like, "Okay, <laughs> oh. <laughs> I'm glad you like it." Yeah. Oh, that's one of the worst things. Yeah, the like idea it, of like metal like... on my teeth. Yeah. One of the reasons I don't go to the dentist very often, which I probably should. Mm -hmm. Like, never had a cavity, but you know, yeah. cleanings are never fun. Yeah. Uh, they suck. Yep. Quite a bit, but your mouth feels great afterwards. Uh, like, my mouth has felt so different today ever since. And like yeah. I was eating just a little while ago, I was like, everything like it tastes the same, but it feels different. Yeah, you know? mm -hmm. texture. Um, I hate the fluoride they use. It gets you like right where A one steak sauce gets you, like right in the <laughs> nods. Here, and you're like, Aah! right, right in the what? The nods. The nods. I the don't nods. Know, just I don't know this. No. The, the medical the, term. The fluoride gets you right where A one steak sauce gets you. <laughs> right here. Right in the nods. <laughs> It sounds like it's a Boston talking about his nards. Yeah. From Massachusetts. Your yeah. gonards. That A1 sauce right kicked there. me right in the nods. <laughs> right in the gonads. Back here in the nods. But I always, I like, know. every time I go to the dentist office, I find someone at the dentist office that I really connect with. And this time it was the lady at the front desk. Because, like, the de you know, dentist finishes up. I go up front to, like, sell up and everything. Which, there was no charge today, which was so great. Um... But she's like, okay, here's your sample bag. I was like, ooh, samples. She goes, the toothpaste or the toothbrush sucks. I was like, thank you. She goes, Everything else is fine. I'm like, okay, get a better right. toothbrush is what she <laughs> was. I was saying. like, I've got one of those cool like vibrating toothbrushes. Like, yeah, that's what I got. Go, do that. Uh, yeah. Like, she was probably saying okay. like, you know, like you, gorgeous silver fox, <laughs> don't use that toothbrush. Yeah. You've gone through enough. <laughs> Use a better toothbrush, and you take care of those pearlies. Have you seen the fancy ones that, like, they'll sit there and they'll let you know how long you need to brush that specific spot? Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. They'll yeah, bing I, at you? Mm -hmm. I, have, I have some of those. They, they don't bing at me. They just, like, stop vibrating for a second. It's like, bzzz, 
bzzz, and like every time you hear that stop, you're like, oh, now it's time for the other quadrant. <laughs> Do you get in the nods? I'm uh, right yeah, in the nods. <laughs> <laughs> Mm. Bet you, you gotta, get it right in the nod. You gotta keep your fr- your nods Hashtag fresh. right in the nod. Yeah. It's important. I'm right here. I always like, think about the Steve Martin in um, that plant movie, uh, House of... Oh, uh, Little, Little Shop of Horrors? Shop of Horrors, yeah. yeah. House of Horrors. <laughs> Shop Have of Horrors. Have you seen that? I haven't. Have you heard of it? You know what we're talking so about? So for those of you who haven't heard of it... Uh, Little Shop of Horrors. Rick Moranis, uh-huh. Steve Martin, um, other people. Yeah. Unimportant. Yeah. Oh, those are my favorite... But, yeah, the other people are really what makes a movie. It's really yeah. good with all the but, other people. Yeah, but uh, Rick Moranis is uh, basically he plays the typecast Rick Moranis yeah. down on his luck. You know, your Schwartz is bigger than mine kind of fella. And, yeah. and um, he finds this plant that uh, is like a space alien. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And it comes in Seymour. on an asteroid. And his it's name a, is Seymour. It's a little baby Seymour. plant. And he starts to feed it. And he can't feed it. And it won't grow. And he accidentally pricks his finger while he's trying to figure out how to make this plant grow. And blood makes it grow, like, suddenly and ferociously. it's a carnivorous plant. It's a carnivorous plant. It eventually uh, becomes uh, sentient, or at least grows speech. Yeah, it's able Uh, to talk. And And sing. And sing. (laughs) And it demands that uh, Rick Moranis go out and murder for it. Yeah. Uh, now, me, Steve Martin Cino? is the dentist of mm-hmm. Rick Moranis, who is also a uh, sadist and likes to punish people in the dentist chair, yeah. which is why I think of dentists mm-hmm. in this movie. Mm-hmm. And eventually he gets felled by Rick Moranis because there's like a love interest and. Steve Martin is like a little heavy handed on her and uh, so Rick Moranis is like prime candidate. I like this girl. This guy's beating up on her. I got a plant needs feeding. I got a plant that's hungry. <laughs> like boom boom boom. Yep. And Works then itself out. and then uh, they sing about it. Yeah, it's a musical. Little shop. Yeah. That's interesting. Steve Martin song shop being I'm your dentist. Um, but yeah, the 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 plant which Audrey too, right? In that the name of the plant because mm-hmm. Audrey is the it's girl love that he loves. So. Yeah, and then there's Audrey too, which looks like one of the piranha plants from Super Mario Brothers. Oh, okay. Yeah. <clears throat> so it's an interesting sounding movie. Kind of mm-hmm. reminds me of this other thing. Um, this movie Grace. It was like a B grade horror film about a woman who has a stillbirth, and I'm not really sure how it comes to be. She's doesn't let go of this child. I don't know if she what she did sold her soul or something, but the kid comes back to life. Mm-hmm. It's basically a zombie kid who has to live off of people, and so she's like killing all these okay. people, including I think the baby's dad. Oh, to try to feed it. It's a really weird movie. Zombie it's, it's kids. Called Grace. That sounds like you ever seen the movie uh, Let the Right One In? No. Or or the American version Let Me In? I've heard of it. Is it's that a, the one with the little girl vampire? Mm-hmm. Yeah, Chloe Grace Moretz plays her in the in Chloe the American Grace version, Marquez. and mm-hmm. uh, that's really good. It's about a, a little girl vampire who like is, lives in this apartment complex and has to. She, she's a vampire. She has to drink blood, and so she has like a caretaker, who is the one you know that finds people for her and stuff like that. It's a really good movie. Both the I think the original is Swedish or something, mm. um, but both of them are very good. Um, the Swedish being, you know, the original one was a little bit better done, I guess, in its original kind of thing. But still, both of them, I, I love Chloe Grace Moretz. I think she's fantastic. <sighs> she's she very, a very good. talented. Did actress. it have a vibe like Kirsten Dunst character in Interview with a Vampire, where you know she got um, turned innocent and young, and then has lived like a long life as a child I, and has like an adult conscious? I don't more. remember how it worked. I don't remember if she was like. If she was turned a vampire, or if she was born a vampire, I don't remember how it went, or if it even went into it. I don't know. Um, it, it's been quite a while since I've seen either movie, but it, it it definitely does play out the fact that you know she is a child and like is able, you know, people aren't as you know afraid of her and stuff like that. Yeah, very unassuming. Yeah, very easy to creep up on mm-hmm. somebody. Yeah, and devour them whole. Yeah. Yeah. But so I guess sort of in that sense of the Chris, Kirsten Dunstan interview, yeah, yeah. It's actually the perfect vampire scenario. I mean, people always talk about you know the traditional vampire um, archetype is that debonair sort of looking gentleman, but I, I think 
you know, it'd be way easier to be lured into a dark alley by a child mm -hmm. if they need help. Who wouldn't? I'm a woman. I'd come running and be like, child needs saving. Yeah. Save the child. Yeah. So. I mean, you, but eventually I feel like you're going to have to pick and choose your victims really well. Um, I feel like uh, a geriatric vampire would actually be a lot easier to get away with because you could just put yourself up in a retirement community yeah. and then people are passing away of natural causes all the time anyway. Mm. So if a few <laughs> extras, Slip if the numbers the you know, got spiked. Have to be exsanguinated a little bit. Yeah. Yeah. I feel like he's thought about I mean, this. Yeah. You, you can't he's be, got plans. You can't suck on their necks because that's going to be obvious. But like a junkie, if you kind of like get between the toes <laughs> or some in one of those other yeah. you know, non-obvious I'm sure they have areas. IV drips too. Yeah, just align yourself right with <laughs> I those. I mean, I guess, if you want to <laughs> use science. I mean, they're going there to die anyway, so when they do, no one's surprised. It's not like, oh my gosh, Myrtle's dead. I just I just like... <laughs> not Myrtle. Come on, Myrtle's my favorite. <laughs> I just like hey, the idea. You're not supposed to pick favorites. Up. Waking up with a vampire so. sucking blood out of my toes. <laughs> like, I just think that would be a real funny scenario to wake up to. <laughs> I actually feel bad that Jeremy Adams isn't here because he, he's brought up multiple times this... There's an episode of... Uh, uh, Grim Adventures of Billy and Mandy. Oh, I love that show. Have I grew you seen up the one with, with Dracula? No. There's one where it's uh, it's Grim, the Grim Reaper, hanging out with Dracula, <laughs> and they, I don't know why they're together, but like the scorpion shows up and just like just starts stinging Grim a lot. And he's like, "You gotta suck out the venom." He's like, "What? Dracula don't suck." He's like, "What? You're a vampire. You know, like, vampires suck blood." He's like, "No, nah, that's a myth." What I do is I scrape with the fangs and I lick up the blood like this. Ah, uh. <laughs> that was ridiculous. Scrape uh, and lick. Ah, uh. <laughs> it's good stuff. You missed it. Yeah. Yum yum. <laughs> Say it with your chest. <laughs> it's, but, it's cool. The cartoons aren't for kids anymore. Yeah. I mean, it's I I like the that fact show in that particular. Can, definitely got away with a lot of stuff. Yeah, but but you can All have shows. The, you can have this cartoon and kids watch it and enjoy it. But the adults watching it are also like. I get that, and you don't, but I do, and you will maybe when you're older. They do it in ah. Disney movies, too, more than you would think. There's yeah. this line that I think um, really sticks out to me in Frozen, where, you know, Princess Anna is telling Kristoff about how much she loves... I forget the bad guy's name. Hans? Hans. And Haven't he's like, seen the movie. You don't know her? You're gonna you're engaged to this guy, and you've only, you know, only known him for a day? And she's like, oh, I know everything he needs to know. And he's like going down the list of things she doesn't know. And he's like, shoe size? And she goes, why is that important? He's like, oh, it's important. And, uh, yeah. You know, the kids, of course, it goes right over the head of this and don't. You're like, it's, yes. Yeah, it's like in Shrek when they, they get to the, the castle. Mm -hmm. Look, you must they, be compensating, yeah, for, compensating something. for something. Yeah, I can't wait till I'm like a grandpa so that I can like lean over and be like, "That's a dick joke, kid." <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. You see, like, you see, like I feel like sometimes like you can get your you can get kids can get themselves into trouble because a lot of times kids like to repeat lines, oh, yeah. just like do things like that. Yeah. And for an unsuspecting teacher who hasn't seen this thing, mm. and all of a sudden he's like, "We scrape with the fangs and then lick out the blood like this," <laughs> and just you have a kid doing that in your classroom, the teacher's gonna be like. Stop doing what you're doing. Like I, it's very suggestive. It, yeah. it, 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 it's gonna hit a roadblock. I actually had an, a, a situation occur in my life very similar to that. Uh, I I watched a lot of stand-up comedians mm. as a kid, um, and George Carlin. Oh yeah, uh, was Ooh. someone yeah. that when I was nine years old, I probably should not have been watching his material. <laughs> right. But I did, oh, and he was very funny. Oh, you yeah. know, I even there were parts of it I didn't <laughs> quite understand because I was young at the time. Uh, but I still enjoyed a lot of it, so I memorized a lot of his jokes. <laughs> I didn't realize how diverse uh, curse words were back then. <laughs> like I really only thought there were like ten or fifteen curse words. He used so many that I was unfamiliar with that when <laughs> I repeated his routine back. I used that same colorful language that I was unsure of. Yeah. And so I learned all these cuss words by the look on my parents' face. <laughs> when, Ooh, that's a good one. I haven't seen when that I, face When before. I drop like the C word and stuff, yeah. and they're like, what were you watching? Like a George Carlin. And they're like, oh, we love George Carlin, but you should not watch that. <laughs> Do not watch George Carlin. I have a similar experience, actually, but it wasn't from TV, but it, it also proves that kids are very impressionable. Um, when I was very young, um, my, 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 I was very like, 
I was the baby of the family by a lot. My my older brother is 15 years older than me, and so when I was really little, uh, to keep my my siblings out of trouble, they were like, "Oh, we're going out over here." Like, yeah, take your brother with you. And so my my brother had to put me in the back seat of the car in the car seat and everything. And then he'd drive around, and, and he liked doing it because the girls were like, oh, so cute. He's like, yeah, that's my brother. You want to hang out? You want to make out? What do you want to do? <laughs> so I could just turn the car seat around. He ain't got to look. Yeah. <laughs> Good for you, Dave's brother. <laughs> but I, I think I've also been telling like the show. He's like a puppy. I was about to say, you were like the puppy. Pretty much, yeah. But I think I've also been telling the show my family was very religious. And in this town that we were living in, there wasn't a church that my parents deemed good enough for them, I guess. And so on Sundays, we'd have church in our house. And my dad would be like the preacher. And so there's one Sunday we're sitting there and like my mom's got me in her lap and my brother's sitting like over across here in a chair. And my sister's next to my mom and dad's up there preaching. And everybody's real quiet, being real, you know, Christianly and respectful. And then I said, pussy, 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 pussy. <laughs> and then everything stopped. As, right. as it should. And But no one... No one really understood what I said. I was a child. Kids make weird noises all the time. Like how old? How old are we talking like here? Like two or three, maybe. Oh, maybe okay. three. You know, pretty young. Pussy, 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 pussy. Yeah, five okay. times. Right. Five, five times the pussy. Five times the so pussy. So everything stops and people are like, oh, okay, whatever. <laughs> like, that's and, not me. And everybody's everybody, looking at your you know, older brother. And like, you know, you everybody in there is like, I'm pretty sure I know what he said, but we're going to pretend like we didn't know what he said. And But meanwhile, my sister and brother are exchanging these looks like, shh. Shit, we are fucked. Like, and it, mostly my brother and my sister's like, yeah, you're totally fucked. <laughs> so, uh, but no one's really reacting to it. My dad gets back to his preaching and everything, and I apparently felt that I had not been heard, and so I did it again. And at that or you, point, or you realized was, you commanded yeah. the floor in that moment, and you were like, I'm a star. This is a powerful <laughs> thing I've done. Pussy, pussy, pussy. <laughs> <laughs> So at that point, uh, my mom, you know, it's one of those if looks could kill things. Like, if, you know, my mom gave my brother this look like he was going to die. Because it was clearly him. Like, there's no way it was anybody else teaching me these words. <laughs> or this one particular word that I liked repeating. Um, Just rolled trippingly off the tongue. Yeah, right? Just pussy, it pussy, it's, pussy, It's pussy, a real, pussy. you know, easy word for a kid to pick up on. Yeah. Just got one vowel set there. Mm-hmm. Yeah, my that's that's when uh, my brother realized he needed to pay a lot more attention to who was around when he was talking to his friends. Nice, yeah, it's very good. When, Sorry, Tim. Well, when when <laughs> when we were growing up, my dad, um, he definitely played to the they don't know what's being said here right. thing. Uh, we listened to a, sh a radio show called Bob and Tom. Mm -hmm. uh, we listened to CDs, and it had you know funny little bits and sketches. And songs uh, and com comedic bits and things yeah. like that. So, um, growing up, we had a lot of favorites. Um, some of our favorite songs were um, A Beer's Much Better Than a Woman, <laughs> um, Prison Bitch, that was another one. Uh, Fur Burgers was, was one as well. I feel like I'm really throwing my dad under <laughs> the bus here, but... We had some Sorry, pretty Dad. foul stuff that we listened they don't to, and we had, like, no like, yeah, yeah. we had no idea. We had no idea. So it was it was very fun, very entertaining. There was one bit um, about these two entrepreneurs who were trying to fill a gap in the market for fruit juices. So they went to this uh, Dickens Fruit Company, uh, and they they produced a cider called Dick and Cider, and. Um, that was a really funny bit as well. Yeah. So we definitely had plenty of stuff that we would say that we did not realize how bad it was right. when we were saying it, but it made us funny, so we enjoyed it. Yeah. Oh. I guess adding to that with my own little story, I don't know where I picked it up. My, my mom always tells this story that, who knows, she's still just kind of amazed to this day. So I guess, you know, when I was really young, my mom had a fiancé, and they did not get along. They argued all the time. And I guess one time, little Kate was just tired of it. So they're in the kitchen, and they're arguing, and she's like, three-year-old Kate just comes out and goes, stop being mean to my mom, you worm ass, <laughs> and punches him in the nuts. Worm ass. Worm ass. And she's like, you know, I've said ass around my kid, I'm not going to lie. I said a lot of curse words. She's like, worm ass was never one of them. <laughs> so we're not sure to this day if that was something I picked up or if I just fabricated it out of, you know, my beautiful three-year-old imagination yeah well but what, what i what i think i like the best about that story 
wasn't just Wormash, which hashtag Wormass has been written, <laughs> but I loved how you told the story about little Kate in the third person. Like, <laughs> I don't know what it was going on in little Kate's head, but she walked up <laughs> and she punched him right in the balls. I don't remember being three years old, so when I hear it, that's what I imagine. I'm like, oh. Alternate yeah. me. It's a, it's you're a not, you're not looking at the scene through your eyes. No. You're looking at the scene from an omnipotent yes. perspective. I don't uh, remember. I've seen being pictures, so I'm just imagining what my cute little ass would look like walking <laughs> over somebody and call him in a warm ass and punch <laughs> him in the nuts. Him in the nuts. <laughs> Another story from when I was uh, that that age in the same house. Actually, um, my dad used to take me to this like babysitter, <laughs> like when he would leave for work and everything, and. Um, but one night my mom was giving me a bath or she was, she was turning on the bath, whatever. And there was like a spider or something in the bathtub. And she's like, she, you know, she didn't want to touch it, but she was like, ah, get out of here. Get out of here, spider. And I went, mom, call it damn it. And she's like, what? I'm like, call it damn it. That's what dad calls me when he's ready to leave in the morning. Like, damn it. Let's go. <laughs> yeah. That's good. That's Cute. good. And I, I thought it was some <laughs> magical word that made things happen because it always got me out of the house in the morning. Man, you have, we are just <laughs> throwing down the hashtags today. <laughs> um, I'm going to keep writing these down because Call it, damn it. I really like it. <laughs> uh. Uh, to finish my dentist story, though. Okay. Um, them, them pearly whites, <laughs> them sparklers. Yeah. If you, if you, if any of you or you uh, ever need to get dental work, Care Credit, dude. You know Care Credit? Anybody? Know I know. I know about Care Credit. Fucking love Care Credit. Like it's a credit card for medical shit. Yep. And on every individual purchase, you have six months of no interest. So if you get, you know, if you you know, rack up a hundred dollars in this month and then another hundred dollars like three months later, it's six months for each purchase with no interest. And it's badass. That's nice. So if you don't have enough money right now to pay for your shit, you put it on this credit card and you pay it off over time, you don't have to worry about interest, probably. I mean, if you're responsible. Yeah. And you don't have, you know, like, giant... And they're not a sponsor or anything. I don't know if they sponsor things, but Care Credit, dude, look it up. It's awesome. We used to have a uh, dental technician that uh, played our game. Did we? Yeah. Uh, And she was such a sweetheart... Uh, because when you LARP, you know, you get out there, a lot of folks don't really hygiene as they should. <laughs> they don't hygiene. They don't do they the don't, hygiene. They don't do that verb hygiene. Like they should. Yeah. And uh, when, when she was out there, she would supply these toothbrushes, these real cheapo disposable toothbrushes mm. that had like a powderized toothpaste that oh, were yeah. already on the bristles. So you would just take it out of its little plastic it's sleeve, like a single-use thing. run it under the water, knock your teeth out, and then you could just toss... Don't knock your teeth out. Just knock the <laughs> fucking teeth right out, and then you don't have to worry about that Yeah, shit. that's true. And yeah. you throw the, the toothbrush right away, and, and it was great. Because for that time period, mm. I could tell <laughs> in, in crowded scenarios... Breath was better. Yeah. Just like, <laughs> just a few ticks, because, you know, there's going to be those, like, stalwart yeah. refuse to hygiene. Yeah. You know, like, oh, <laughs> I see you've brought something to make this real easy on me. No. no I'm keeping this period here by mm. staying in the 18th century and not brushing my teeth. <laughs> mm. But I don't know if they brush their teeth in the 18th century. So, Probably so not. yeah, that's, that's cool. Yeah. Care credit. I don't know where, like... I don't feel like toothbrushes are really exploding forward in in technology. I mean, we already right. talked about the ones that like they tell you when you're done, sort of. Yep. But they massage your gums. Why hasn't Dyson come out with a toothbrush? I'm with you, Jason. <laughs> but is it just on a timer? Like, how does it know? I it's know. on a timer. Right. So it's just like because oh. you're supposed to brush your teeth for two minutes, so every thirty seconds right. it tells so you. So it does. Massages. There's not like an actual sensor or anything in this mm. toothbrush. It's like plaque has been appropriately removed. Well, I mean, I'm sure you could come up with like you know, an app-based toothbrush. I don't know. I had this system. I'm old fashioned. I just sing the ABCs. Easy as one, two, three. Do, re, mi, A, B, C. One, two, three. We don't have the rights. We don't have the rights. What about You're singing poorly, so it's fine. What about an app that, like, you can, like, 
take a picture of your take face. Take a picture of your grill. Mm -hmm. okay. What if you could just scan and your face and then your teeth were brushed? You just, ah, it's done. Okay. Invent it. I mean, I don't, I don't, that's I, a big leap. That was <laughs> a big, I can't what if you just stand think the taste about brushing your toothpaste. teeth and you have clear yeah. teeth? I can't stand it. It's like a diet soda. It's terrible. And I, I've tried every to toothpaste there is. Someone a couple of years ago as a gag present got me bacon toothpaste. And I was like, hey, maybe this will know. It tastes, it like tastes bacon, exactly though? like it does. But also like toothpaste? But also like toothpaste. Gross. Like if it was a marriage between the two and mm. it felt like you very ate a bunch of bacon and then had to go on a date and so like brushed your teeth immediately teeth after. No, it feels like you simultaneously like you were like, you know what would go great on this piece of bacon? Some toothpaste. Gross. Mm -hmm. awesome. And I like bacon in a lot of forms. Yeah. I had this image Big of bacon. This, like you were talking about like a new toothbrush and all that stuff and and I don't know why, but I had this image of like you know the uh that uh, pregnancy test where on the end of it it says like pregnant or not pregnant that's what I have for this toothbrush on my mind it's like clean or still dirty fuckhead keep on going right mm -hmm. that would be like, perfect I think my idea though you don't even have to you just, yeah that would be good yeah. like laser toothbrush ah <laughs> done yeah, but you're it would make you're that noise that you too <laughs> ah <laughs> just don't shine your eyes like oh your eyes are clean and blind <laughs> It's like a science fiction writer's idea, though. There's no sound mechanics behind any of it. Speaking of pregnancy tests, have you ever noticed in the commercials they're always happy when they are? I want to see the realistic one where there's like some, you know, high school girl and yeah. she's peeing on it and then she looks and she's like, yes, not pregnant. I can still go to prom with Jimmy. <laughs> or the other version is, damn it. <laughs> or not pregnant. And then a few months later. You you just highlight the inaccuracies that are possible. They're only ninety like six percent accurate. Wow, you really brought this down. Yeah, just really shit on people's parades. Yeah. I just I want to see that. I want to see that pregnant commercial. Mm -hmm. That right. is something. Like, she looks at it and she's like, "I'm pregnant." Mom. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that is. You're right though. Like every pregnancy commercial or pregnancy test commercial is is like someone pees on it and they're like. We're pregnant. Yeah. Finally, Yay. it happened. Well, you know, they're it's always a middle-aged white right? woman. Yeah. Even though I do agree, in like thirties. You, you know, you, there's a certain amount of branding where you don't want to put that negativity. But I do feel like if you're in like a a stale industry, if you're in like kind of a a ho hum kind of boring industry, like yeah. why not just try an advertising campaign that's honest? That's honest. <laughs> that's a little outside of expectations because generally America eats that shit up. Yeah. Like, oh, like have you seen this new? You know, it'll go viral. People will yeah. be sharing oh, yeah. your like, commercial. I don't know what. And yeah, even if it does brand. say like, hey, not everybody wants to get pregnant. Yeah. You know, it's still saying, hey, use our device to find out it's if you're It's good fucked. to be certain or something. <laughs> yeah. Just to be you, sure. Sometimes you just got to know. Yeah. I don't know. Do girls actually take their pregnancy test in the high school bathroom? I did once. Did you really? I did once. You didn't want to do it at home? So it's a really awkward story. Um, Tell us. But yeah. I came from a very small, <laughs> sheltered background. Mm. So I did not actually know for a very long time... How babies were made. How babies were made. And ah! I remember having this particularly hot and heavy makeout session with you my, hot, me my high school sweetheart. My and I called my friend, my best friend, hey, Amberly, to tell her about <laughs> it. And my mom overheard. And rather than just ground me or do something a normal parent would do, mm -hmm. she just decided to inform me that I can get pregnant from that. And I believed from her. kissing. Yeah, Google was not like a huge thing. I wasn't allowed to use the computer. So I called my friend and I'm like, oh, my God. Oh my god, my mom just told me, she's like, no, nah, no, nah, that's not real. But then I got my period late, and I was like, where is it? And so we both just were like, ah, Wait, I don't you, know. You got your period late, or your period was, hadn't late. come yet? It had not come yet, okay. whatever you want to call it. And so I'm sitting there, and I'm like, oh, oh I mean, she had kids, she, she should know. So we had my <laughs> friend's older brother, who kept assuring us this was impossible. Yeah. But me, anxiety-ridden <laughs> Kate, just would not believe it. I do like, you're stupid, but here, I guess. <laughs> so, well, we also, like, paid him gas money to go yeah. drive us to the gas station <laughs> before school. I got my little pregnancy test, and mm. then I went in the bathroom, and I was like, oh, thank God. <laughs> like, we were so happy. <laughs> I can, I, I can, I'm now picturing this commercial of just like, 
a, like a row of, of high school like toilet stalls, and they're all closed, and then you see the feet of like one girl underneath it, and then like you hear the peeing, and then yes, <laughs> <laughs> yep. And then she just comes out like skip and like tosses it in the trash and goes on to class. Lights like. a cigarette. <laughs> Yeah, you know. Not one of my finer to moments. show that she's not pregnant. I feel like we should make this commercial. <laughs> <laughs> no, if anything, yes! though, my story should tell you how much sex ed failed me. That's true. Yeah, I think sex ed failed a lot of people. How much your parents might have failed you also. in some of your early development? Oh damn, that's flying around here. <laughs> I create what I believe to be an appropriate illustration for the topic. Yeah. yeah. I like how it looks like the sperm are coming off the toothbrush. <laughs> <laughs> That's because they are. Yeah. Do you know oh, you can God. get pregnant from brushing your teeth <laughs> and making out? I actually so only if someone jizzes on your toothbrush. My, <laughs> <laughs> God, my very I feel first. Like that'd be a really gross college prank. <laughs> the, oh, my first year of college, I was at this very <laughs> Christian school. The tip school of that, the toothpaste tube. You mm. guys. Can we <laughs> just? He's trying to tell a story. Tell a story. I mean, I was just going to butter You were in college or something. Somebody jizzed in your face. Let's go. (laughs) (laughs) I'm mixing the story. One lotion in water, (laughs) heat it up in the microwave, splat it on your face. I mean, that's what college is for, right? It's experimentation. Uh, But no, I went to to this very small, like, Christian college uh, for my first year of college because my parents were very Christian people and they wanted that for me. Mm -hmm. And it was terrible. But there was all these, like, weird rules in place at this school about, like, the intermingling of, you know, the sexes. And so you weren't allowed to swim together, which there wasn't, like, we were at the beach. Like, this because is in Tampa. you can get pregnant from that. Apparently you can get pregnant from that. Um, mm-hmm. You were allowed to hold hands, but there was no kissing. Hugs could not last longer than three seconds because everybody knows after three seconds, instant pregnancy. Yeah. And That's when dicks come out. Yeah, dudes weren't allowed to wear shorts to class. Uh, girls because weren't allowed to wear shorts at all. That's because hands can reach up shorts to dicks. <laughs> See, and then pregnancy in your hand. Yeah, like no, yeah. you're what, all of a sudden like, uh, hand pregnant. <laughs> here's what I think, right? You like kick the thing? Don't kick the microphone. Yeah. But well, uh, <laughs> I think that the church knows exactly what they're doing by setting all of these impossible to meet standards Mm -hmm. on these children that are just a bud with hormones that they cannot control just just like just (laughs) shooting out like from their gills yellowstone (laughs) and um and i think that they know full well that by setting these rules in place they're basically challenging these young rebels Mm -hmm. to go out there and do it yeah and and they are. Oh, yeah. Like, you know, 80, 90% probably are like, oh, the church says we shouldn't do this. It's naughty. Let's fucking do it right now. Do it, yeah. do it on the church. And then the church gets Quick, more. Quick, loop my knuckles. More. <laughs> <laughs> and then the church gets more babies. You know? It's like, yeah. they're like, you know, abstinence is the only way. We're gonna we're gonna have so many kids at the Here's end of this abstinence. Here's things you definitely is the only should way. not do. Okay, don't be kissing. Yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> don't hug. Now, I'm each gonna other. get the organ lady to come in here. This is the wheelbarrow position, kids. <laughs> definitely don't yep, do that. Don't do that one. This is a Cleveland steamer. <laughs> we uh we we don't do that either. We mm. Definitely don't re- recommend reverse cowgirl, no matter how fun it may be. Yeah. Well, mm. that's how dicks get broken. Yeah. <laughs> oh, we do have fun. <laughs> <laughs> broken dicks. As long as our dicks don't get uh, broken. Talkie box disclaimer: You can't get pregnant in any of the ways we've so far mentioned. But you can break your dick. I think it was cowgirl. I think on top of broken dicks, it's only missionary. (laughs) Only missionary. I'm just saying. What about if there's someone young and impressionable like me watching, and they're like, "Oh, oh, you probably should. They should not be watching." Do we have the disclaimer up before the show? We need to get that. Yeah. (laughs) Oh man, this is an NC-17 show. Yeah, we'll just call it broken dicks. I like that the most famous uh, mating position is actually named after like. Religious people yeah. going off yep. and discovering new worlds and correcting them I with Jesus. I don't even know why it's the most liked. I feel like missionary is the position you get into when you just don't feel like. Doing well, it's not necessarily the most it's liked. The most it's just liked. the most. Common. It's the most conducive yeah, it's the most for basic. impregnation. Is it? 
Because mm -hmm. you want to keep the, the sperm in there. Like, you know, a lot of the other positions, I've heard uh, it can evacuate. I've heard it's actually better if, like, the woman's abdomen's, like, a little bit elevated. Yeah, I've, like, I've heard you, you want to kind of, like, keep your legs up, up yeah. and, and kind of on your back and just sort of keep that baby batter in there as long as possible. <laughs> like, sex is sexy. Sort of actually trying around. to procreate, <laughs> not sexy. Not sexy. Yeah. Hmm. I mean, it can be. Some people make it look easy. I mean, if you're really in love, what, then sex? you're like, yeah. no, baby. procreating. Too. Ali Wong has a really great skit about it and Baby Cobra where she's like, oh, yeah, like for us or, you know, her and her husband, it was not like an easy thing. Like it was actually like, okay, you know, it's that time of the month. The fruit is ripe. Yeah. The ovulation time. Excuse me while I stand on my head right afterwards. Like, yeah, yeah it's, it's kind of funny. I highly recommend it. Hmm. You Making know, babies. it's funny that we've gotten to this point of the conversation after the text you sent me earlier today. Of a, I gotta find it. I gotta. Read oh yes, it yeah, its, yeah. In its entirety, um, um, our ages should hold be. On. I got this. Yeah, I got. This. I sent a couple of texts. Yeah, you don't he, send me texts. He randomly you. sent like I don't think I have this was. This is an unsolicited text message. Completely unsolicited. Sent to both this of was, us. This was right after I sent the mission statement. I, I was smoking excluded. a little bit of the left-handed, and, uh, and then he says, I was just thinking aloud to myself. The number we use for our age should be our mother's age since a female is born with eggs. Now, while that part is true, that's only half your <laughs> DNA. <laughs> and, uh, you know, so... I feel like I mean, if that were the case, I mean, if we were doing that, we would have to just no, no, but no. You're not because really... the sperm is produced constantly throughout no. life. But yeah. really, if we want you, if we want to go by that, we would just be like, you know what? Uh, what about my grandmother's age? Because she already had that egg for my mom, who then had that egg for me, and so you just keep on. Yeah, well, yeah, like but you age are is measured in years of actual egg. life experience. Like and... your mom is your actual. <laughs> Grandma's age. You are your mom's age because no, I'm, you I'm, are that I'm the Earth's egg age. that she. Oh, that's true too. And like a, but Star I don't want to get into that. <laughs> I don't want to get into that. Uh, Matter yeah. is neither created nor destroyed. Right. I just am. And energy. Um, so anyway, you're you're born uh -huh. with uh -huh. eggs. Yeah. Uh -huh. Those eggs age. Yes, you are. <laughs> Those eggs age with you, uh, and with I feel you. like because they are a big part of who we are like in sperm recycles like every 90 days or something yeah. like that so yeah. it's but women have a set amount you just get your basket you've got your eggs yeah. and we've you're got not, you're not all eggs those eggs in that basket in one basket but that's all the eggs you're gonna get yep. so they're really valuable like if i wanted to i could try to donate my eggs and get like eight thousand dollars that's selling but they don't like my eggs i have, I have oh. bad eggs apparently oh Ho ho, a pirate's life for me. No one wanted all my eggs in their basket. What? I still you mean think yo ho, yo yo yo, yo yo, <laughs> a pirate's life, matey. <laughs> um, New yeah. movie from Disney, Pirate's <laughs> Life. <laughs> I think the our, our yo, age dog. <laughs> should reflect the age of the egg. Uh, you know, like if you have is that half a half at that point? At that point, I'm sorry. Is that an addition to your own age? So I'm 24. No, okay. no, because my mom's 43. Would I just add that all up and be like, oh. no, because uh, your mom has been aging with you. Yeah. So I'm 43 yeah. years right. old. But <laughs> that would mean, like, by that standard, there's all these siblings that I have that are the same who age, are just who are just either my mom's age or less, given depending on when they were like came out of her ovaries. Well, I mean, you and all of your siblings. I don't mean the ones that the actually got age. born. <laughs> I mean, all the eggs that she's had that did not become babies. Yeah, you're are saying, also are your technically siblings. my siblings. Yeah, and technically, have, and all have ages. I mean, you were the one about who all of each other. No, all the same <laughs> age, because all the eggs are produced. Yeah, but then you know, if they don't get used, they die. Well, that's true. Yeah, yeah so they I guess they apart from each other. <laughs> subtract a month. Wow. Yeah, that's morose. Yeah. Also, dead babies. I disagree with Jason yeah. on on <coughs> how we should judge our age. I'm just saying but, that. but only because it's only half the DNA. It's only half a person. Well, and, and I agree with that to an extent, but there are markers like you yourself uh, came from, like you said, your 
your brother was 15 years older than you, mm -hmm. and then your mom sort of took a break, and then after they were sort of on in life, decided to have another child. Well, she also got divorced from the guy she was with with my dad, and then got a new guy, and then got married, and then had me. Right, right. So, <laughs> so but still, like... Her being that age, like I think that there are some indicators on on you that show that you are from an older egg, and so uh, such the, as what? Such as the silver, yeah. the the salt and pepper, um, the more the kind me. of the stupid way so that your forehead slopes right there. This way, I'm yeah. confused. <laughs> are you the age your mother's, or are you just simply the age <clears throat> she was when she had you? No, you no, are your age mother's age. age because when she is born, she is born with you inside of her. Well, then how is Dave an old egg? Because he wasn't turned into a baby until the egg had aged. Yes. Mm. Like a oh, fine a cellared egg. egg. Mm -hmm. I see. A cellared I see. egg. So I'm a young egg. I guess. And and there have been some <laughs> some evidence that shows that like children that are are born late, you know, they have a little more issues. Uh, sometimes like more issues of like. Tell us about uh, your issues, Dave. Uh, this, health, this guy's a friend. Health and stuff. <laughs> yeah, no, I believe all. I believe there is a higher. Even though I was your chance. brother's friend before I was your friend. Is that yep. really so? Yeah, there, there is wow. a higher chance of um, heard that story. older pregnancies uh, producing Going multiple awry. multiple offspring. Right? Really? You have a higher chance of twins and triplets and so on as you get older. I could have had a twin brother. You could have had a twin brother. Maybe you, you absorbed him in the womb. One in 8,000, maybe. Oh, that'd be cool. And that's, maybe? Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that'd be that cool. That happens, apparently. <laughs> I ate my yeah. baby brother in the womb. So let's talk about the, uh, the mission <laughs> statement that and I wrote. And all the issues that Dave has. You didn't write one. Yeah. Yeah, Unless he sent it, was... it to me. I sent it to both of you. Uh, Did you get the mission statement? Oh, is that what that is? Because it has a question mark on it. I feel yeah. It's not even a statement, that's a question. Well, because I was sending okay. it to you right. and Justin as a question. Is this an appropriate I mission I enjoyed statement? it as a mission statement. If he had said, hey, how's this for our mission statement, it'd be fine. Here's, here's what it is. <laughs> Well, so, I asked him a question about the mission statement did not send that question to okay. you. Okay. So he was responding to me, but he's also like, Dave would appreciate this. All right. I want to be included in mistaken. these random epiphanies, Jason. Well, okay. I feel offended. We'll get there. Okay. You got you to be on a few more shows. All right. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> celebrating the burdens and joys of humanity by producing and distributing common interest mixed media? Question mark? Huh? You gotta say it. Common interest mixed media? I don't have to say mixed that Mixed media? <laughs> I hate you. Bees? Also... Uh, I'm eating now, then leaving. Mm -hmm. So that's the end of the mission statement. It's very <laughs> important that they know that we've got an agenda, yeah. but we have to take care of ourselves first. I feel like that should definitely be on there. I Celebrating mean, <laughs> the burdens and joy of humanity by producing and distributing common interest mixed media. <laughs> I'm eating. I'm now. eating now, and I'm leaving. Then. <laughs> yeah, I'll be leaving very soon. I'm uh, eating now, then I'm leaving. Mm -hmm. Like, all right, so these guys are really hitting it hard. They're <laughs> celebrating the joys and burdens, but they're only here to wet their whistle, then they're out of here. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's some real deep stuff, but they got to go very soon. Mm -hmm. oh, so what do you think? Do you think it's a good mission statement? Justin, it. Justin said it was all right, but I figured y'all might want to spice it up. It is a first copy. It's not <laughs> a rough draft because I ran through that in my head. No, it sounds good to me. I mean, it doesn't... Mm. I mean, you've worked at some corporates, right? Where you have to do the mission statement or whatever, or like there's testing on their mission statement. I mean, sort of. I, I mean, I bet this guy even has the mission statement memorized for his company. Cause he's, I do. I do. Because he's good like that. Also, okay. <laughs> he's he's more important than me and you. Yeah, I'm I'm going through the text message because you've sent me some random weird ass shit, and I'm going through all these text messages like best birthday since the World Trade Center. Um, what? That's what he said about his birthday this past year. Um, what? <laughs> <laughs> that could be true. He might have had shit birthdays ever since then. They were on the same day or anything. I think it might have been facetious when I sent that. I think I meant, like, best birthday since the World Trade Center. Like, 
oh, this one topped that one because it's just as shitty or shittier. But, you know, that doesn't really commu or communicate September very well. 11th? It's the 12th. Uh, I have a sinus infection behind my left eye, Lopez. Not sure if I'm getting better or worse. Um, Not an autocorrect, the left eye, Lopez. Nope. No, nope. I did that on purpose. Totally intentional. Yeah, I like, I like Lisa, left eye, Lopez, or did. Yeah, she died. Uh, I don't know. I'm going to have to go through this one day and just find all the random shit that he sent me. Um, <laughs> There's a lot of random stuff. There's yeah. a lot of random stuff. Probably do an episode I've, just I've looked on back that. through all of my Facebook postings since oh, like those 2004 are or whatever mm. when I got onto Facebook or whenever Facebook was invented. <laughs> and uh, there's a lot of crazy stuff. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, some weird poetry, like some weird off the wall kind of beat poetry. Yep. I kind of want to pull it all together mm. and see if it makes if it one f like an Odyssey <laughs> or an Iliad kind yeah. of Maybe thing. Maybe we can make a slide Compile show, your own put anthology. a soundtrack mm -hmm. to it. We'll mm -hmm. all pop some popcorn that day and just bask mm -hmm. in the glory. I'm okay with that. Yeah, oh, yeah. yeah, it's beautiful. We can put the TV up and just scroll through all of his Facebook <laughs> posts over Ooh, the years. Yes. Yes. We'll just take turns reading them. And then y'all can take turns making fun of me. Yeah, that sounds good. This sounds like a great idea. Right? I Especially that last part. Do you have a Twitter yet? Why don't, why don't I think the audience Twitter? would God approve. Jason was... God, Twitter's made for you. Twitter is made for Jason. He doesn't get on it. He and knows. he has no idea. Nope, he mm. just doesn't know. All right. We're going to start just taking your Facebook posts and throw them on Twitter, see what happens. Yep. We're going to get famous. That's how we're going to get famous. Not this podcast bullshit. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> the insane ramblings of Jason Martin. Yeah. Jason, you're a beautiful mind. At real Jason Martin. No, we're not doing that. Because there's some it's fake It's going to be a talkie ass. box. Oh. <laughs> At real talkie box. There okay, that's fine. Uh, we got uh, less than 10 minutes. What do we got? How was your day? Oh, it was really good. Yeah. I had a fantastic day. Yeah. She hung out with me. I did. <laughs> I went Christmas shopping with Dave and Honor. Yeah. Yesterday, I saw the new Star Wars movie. How was it? It was fan-frickin-tastic. Yeah? It was amazing. J.J. Now, Abrams, you outdid yourself. I've heard from some people mm -hmm. that it's not that great. Oh, well, I don't know who said that. Because it's... Actually, it's funny because I've seen a lot of stuff on, online where it's the, the previous episode... People didn't like it because it was too much like reminiscent like, of a new hope. Of new hope. Mm -hmm. And then this one people don't like because it's nothing like the like other Star Wars. See, I think that's what I actually liked is that it's a very new take. Mm -hmm. and it's very different. Um, also, it's visually stunning. Yeah. I've um, heard the good I don't want to spoil anything, so I'll I'll just say this one thing. There's this big explosion that happens. It's monumental. It's amazing. Whoa! Spoilers! spoilers. And what I like about said explosion spoilers. is you see it. Before you hear it, yeah, because light travels faster than sound, and my nerd boner is, it is just in enormous. Space? Yes. Spoilers. Space? So there shouldn't have been sound at all. Because mm. sound needs to vibrate. Take that, Star Wars. Sound needs to vibrate through a fluid, right? It was well, beautiful. Through a, regardless, some kind of matter, which space is not. Right. And I mean, gas or. Otherwise. Well, I think gas and liquid are both considered fluids because of the way that they. Flow. Well, I mean, sound like can also air go, flow. Sound can also go through solids, though. Oh yeah. So Science. you're you're totally right about that. It was awesome. Write that down. Write that down. Write that down. What he said. Dave Write down totally what he right said about that. Yes, yes. That's gonna be the entire video. But anyway, it doesn't go through vacuum. Twenty minutes of days and saying the day was right. Well, regardless, <laughs> it was amazing. Um, and <laughs> as per the trend with Star Wars, Star Wars movies, they introduced a new planet yep. at the end. Um, I think it's pronounced crate. And it is a mineral-based mm -hmm. planet. Spoilers! So, Spoilers. No. Um, all of the different creatures and everything on the planet are mineral-based. And there were these little crystal foxes just running around. And, Spoilers. Oh. Yeah. Well, now I want a crystal fox. I know. I do, too. And I'm just... It was heartbreaking. Yeah. Um, I don't want to say anything more there, obviously, because... So how's that biology Spoilers. Work? On a crystal fox. Uh, splendidly. Yeah? Yeah. It's beautiful. I mean, do they eat? They eat crystal mice. Do they? Do they? Yeah, the movie wasn't an expose on this imaginary crystal it's not a, planet. It's not a I'm biography sure, of the crystal fox. I'm sure if, you know, you scroll Reddit in the next few days, somebody will have some genetic yeah. makeup for you. So we got five minutes left. You know what? That would be a good idea for someone that has, like, 
a universe like mm-hmm. Disney has so many. Just mm-hmm. to dissect it and analyze it. For them it. to like yeah. take go out of their their safe box. Just like you know how we were, it. Imagineers, baby. We were talking about Winter Soldier being political thriller and how mm-hmm. they yeah. like do a documentary style film on like you know, a yeah. crazy planet or or a crazy situation or something like you that that happened within your universe. Yeah. Yeah. But sort of play it as though, like, hmm? it's a legit and real... The only thing I wouldn't want is, like, a, like a found footage kind of thing. Like, I, I hate those things. Like Blair Witch? Like Blair Witch uh, and stuff like that, yeah. I don't, those I don't movies are over The shaky cam? The oh, you don't like shaky cam? Nah. Mm-mm. Yeah, I don't blame you. Yeah. Well, I actually another thing, got a little nauseous. Another in thing I hate in movies, and it and it happens a lot actually, is uh, when stuff gets on the camera, like Uh-oh. water or something is like trickling down the camera, or and the just, blood spray. Yeah, and it just completely takes me out of the movie because, like, obviously there's a camera that's you have just stuff on hit it. the actual fourth wall. Yeah, like, and I hate it. And it's fine if it's if it's like a first person thing, like if it's like supposed to be a first person perspective, which happens sometimes in movies when it's not a shaky cam thing or whatever. But I want to say it happened like in like Saving Private Ryan or something, where like suddenly there's like dirt on the on the camera. I'm like, stop it! This is terrible. Reshoot that. It's it's supposed to be like an immersion technique, but it doesn't exactly like opposite. you would have had eyes, like water in your eyes, or sometimes you know, it does blood take you out. Uh, I find like. The only time it really seems to be effective is in blood splatter, where you're trying to get that sort of that gut like ugh kind of reaction, like feeling. oh, there's blood in my mouth, kind of like. And, and that, but for dirt I do and see that water, one a lot. And I, I still hate it, man. I kind of wonder with VR, you know, mm-hmm. um, improving the way it is recently, how that's going to a cha- change cinema and how we yeah. view movies. I mean, is there going to be a point in time maybe eventually where we won't just go to the movie theater and watch, but we'll have... How neat would that be? Mm-hmm. It's funny because that, that really reminds me Maybe you'll be the character no in the screen, movie. Yeah. Just a bunch of comfortable chairs with with yeah. rigs. Which sounds how cool very... would that be? Like you're watching Game of Thrones and instead of just being a person, you know, watching this big battle happening, yeah. like the Battle of the Bastards, you're actually there duking mm. it out. I don't know. I you see that having problems though, like because maybe you you need to be able to like turn around and look see? around and stuff. And, I don't know. It was but, just a cool idea. I didn't flush it out completely. Yeah. I literally no, I mean, like, light bulbs right now. One, I mean, it'd be super hard to shoot that. But also, I feel like you know, for people who can't really turn and move their heads and stuff, that really sucked for them. They had to do that. Mm. But it feels very fair. It would almost be feel like a rail shooter to me at that point. Kind of, yeah. What about alternate? It's difficult to control the narrative in a movie. Like, you just click a button, you're over here now. Right, so, like a, cool. cameras are like kind of GoPro situated on different physical actors or whatever. You, it follow a different character. It follow yeah. a different character and like, oh, like Jon Snow's kind of boring me at this mm-hmm. part. Like, let me c- click over and check on this other That'd character. A, oh, they're being be, eaten by a dragon right now. Yeah, that neat. would be super cool, That'd be actually. a really great way to, you know, up the movie prices. Like, oh, you saw it from Jon Snow protect you know, perspective. Now pay two more dollars to watch it. To watch Zoe. Cersei eat her children. <laughs> like, you know, it's good. Smart. Well, that, that would actually be yeah, that'd be really smart, and especially for something like Game of Thrones, where like you could see stuff happening in real time, um, and then switch over here, and then you know if that character dies, that series is over. But now you can pick up the new series of Ramsey Bolton. Go check that out. See how it's going over here. Oh, somebody cut a dick off. Spoiler, he also does. <laughs> <laughs> Whose dick is this? Oh, I don't know. Put it in the basket with the others. <laughs> All right, what'd you learn? Um, oh, man. The, the future mm-hmm. is going to be really cool. And the future is now. Yeah. When did you learn that? <laughs> I can't fucking tell you. I don't know. I just, like episode one? You put me on the spot. Yeah. Yeah, whatever. Justin. I learned that uh, A1 A1 steak (laughs) sauce uh, hits Grandpappy Kate right in the nods. Right in the nods. Right in the back of the nads. Right in the nods. Kate, what'd you learn? Uh, Today I learned all about care credit. Yeah. Heck yeah. Good call. Informative. Uh, And today I learned the word worm ass. Worm ass. Worm ass. Get your worm ass out of here. Oh, man, we got some hashtags Let's today. Hashtags. All right, we got, first off, hashtag what's a dollop. <laughs> hashtag like fresh prince. Hashtag fresh prince. Fresh prince. Mm, not to be confused with prince. 
Yeah. Hashtag Grandpappy Kate. Mm-hmm. Hashtag Right in the Nods. Right in the Nods. Hashtag Five Times a Pussy. <laughs> <laughs> Hashtag Worm Ass. Yeah. Hashtag Call It Damn It. <laughs> Hashtag Lube My Knuckles. <laughs> and we'll end with a quote. You were totally right on that, Jason Martin to Dave Montero. I like it. Mm. Yeah. I like the lube my knuckles. That was good. Yeah, that's a pretty good mm. one. All right. Fancy. Use those hashtags. Make them go viral or whatever you do with hashtags. What is it? Trending. That's what we want. Trend. Trending. Trend. Trending. Just lube them all up. KY yep. these bad boys. KY knuckles. <laughs> Have a great night, everybody. Good night, everybody. Good night, good night everybody. Good night. Good night, everybody.